In this video, you're going to learn how to edit and customize logo opener templates in Adobe After Effects. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Premiere Gal. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you're notified when I make new video editing and production tutorials every week. So I've been scrubbing my comments here on YouTube, and a lot of you guys have asked me to show you how to edit and customize After Effects templates with your own branding and color scheme. So what I've done for this tutorial is I've picked out five different logo reveals and openers for After Effects that I'm gonna show you how to edit and customize. Now, Envato, market is where I got these templates from, but they recently announced Envato Elements where you can get unlimited stock video and templates for both After Effects and Premiere Pro now, which is huge because an Envato Markets Video Hive, one template can cost anywhere between $15 to $45, but with Envato Elements, you can get unlimited templates now for just $19 per month. So the logo openers that I chose for this tutorial are both available on Envato Markets Video Hive or Elements, and it's up to you guys to decide which sort of model works best for you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into After Effects and let's edit these logo openers and reveals. So first up here is the dynamic intro template. And you can see here in After Effects, you're given two main compositions. You have the dynamic glitch logo long and the dynamic glitch logo short. So you can decide if you want the shorter or the long version. I'll go with the long version. And the first step is to replace this Envato logo that ends up at the end here with your own logo and slogan if you like. So to do that, just double click on this comp here called your logo here long version. Double click on that. And here I need to import my gal logo into this assets folder that the template comes with, which is pretty nice. So let's go and drag in my logo from my finder and then drag it into the composition. And then you can scale it down to fit, holding shift to keep it proportional. And then we can turn off the Envato Black AI file. And then I'd like to actually type in a slogan here, just the name Premier Gal. And let's resize this to be just a tad bit smaller and let's align it horizontally. And so now when we go back to the long composition, you can see it's been replaced. And the only step here is that we want to replace these colors with the colors of your brand. So in my case, I like to use yellows, light purples and dark purples. So I'm going to go to this colors layer and here from effect controls, you can change the four different colors as well as the background. So I'm going to change color one to a light purple color. And I will change color three to a dark purple color. And I will change color four to a yellow. And of course, you can download the music track that comes with the template separately from Audio Jungle, which is part of Envato Market. And it comes with a short version as well as a long version of the dubstep logo track. Next up is the logo stamp template. And I really like this template because it's unique. You can create a stamp easily with your logo in just a few seconds. The first step is just to go to this logo here composition and replace this Envato mark with your own logo. Now I'd recommend making a version of your logo that's either an outline or a simplified version. So what I did was I created a white version of the Gal logo here that you can see. So I'm going to drag this into my logo folder that the template comes with. And I'm going to drag this down at the last layer here, and I'm going to turn off the Envato. And then I'm just going to scale this up and then just move it into place. And then you can change the color by selecting this adjustment layer, then go into effect controls, and you can say, oh, I want this to be 
a light purple stamp, perhaps. And then if you go back to the main comp now, when you play it back, and right now it's just on a quarter resolution for playback purposes, you can see that it's replaced with the gal stamp. And here you can change it to your website or just your name, anything that you want. I'll just type out Premiere Gal. And of course, if you want to, you can double click and change the font type as well as the color and the size. And now if we go back to main comp, you can see that it just is a new stamp here with your logo. And you can add images behind this stamp to do that. You just go to the main comp here and you go to main controls. And here you can turn on paper horizontal or paper vertical. So let me just scrub head here and you can see if you do paper horizontal, the images behind the stamp will be horizontal. If you turn that off, you can turn on vertical and you can see that it's vertical. So let's turn on, you can also have both on if you like, but let's just turn on the horizontal. And then you can actually insert images here. So the first paper, you can actually insert an image here or a video. So let's go ahead and take some media that I downloaded from Envato Elements. You, you can now download stock video as well as photos. So here, let's go ahead and take this photo and let's drag it into the image folder. And you can drag and drop it in here underneath frame. And then you can hit S to scale it down. And you can also rotate it. If you hit R, let's rotate it 90 degrees. And then let's hit S again to scale it back up. And now if we go back to main comp, you can see that there's the image here with your stamp. And here you may want to change the color of your stamp back to a white color because it's easier to see. And you may want to change your slogan to a white text as well. So let's select that and let's go to the color here and change it to white. And then of course you can change this back paper here to also be another photo. Let's go ahead and quickly change this photo to how about this image that I got from Elements. Let's drag and drop it in and let's drag it underneath the frame layer and then hit S to scale it down a bit and let's hit P to change the position. And then now we have that image in the background as well. So you can choose whether or not you want to have these images behind or not just by going back up to effect controls from the main controls adjustment layer and you can check this on or off. I think it looks pretty cool with the photos. So that's how you edit the logo stamp template. Let's move on to the next one. Next up is this neon logo template. It's really easy to edit. Just simply replace your logo using the logo here composition. And you can see that it comes with an outline for both horizontal logos and square logos. So the square is what I will use because I have a square gal icon. So let's move my logo in here. I'm going to actually use my pink outline version of my logo for this because it works the best for a neon sign. So let's drag and drop this into the materials logo folder that the template comes with. And I can just drag this here into this composition and I will resize it by hitting S and let's scale it down. And then I'm just going to click and move it into the square box here. And I'll use the arrow keys on my keyboard just to get it nicely centered in place. And I'll turn off this Envato white logo. And then when we go back to main here, you can see that the Gal logo is now here and we can update our slogan. So instead of amazing slogan here, we can type out Premiere and then Gal. And you can see we have this beautiful neon sign that otherwise would have taken a really long time to create. And we just literally updated this template in just probably 30 seconds you could do this. And then again, you can go up to file and to export this, you can add to render queue and export it. 
Or if you want to, you can actually drag in this composition, the main comp, into Premiere Pro and render it inside of Premiere Pro. All right, let's move on to the next fourth logo reveal. So next here is the liquid logo template that makes it look like your logo is essentially painted on in this colorful liquidy way. So one thing to note here is that the Envato logo is actually inside of this rotated square. But what if you have a square logo and you don't want it to be in this rotated square? You just want it to be the logo that gets painted on. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So basically what you need to do is go in and say, I don't want this logo to be here. So just turn it off. And rather than dropping in our logo like we did before in here, what we're going to do is go to the project panel and from the pre-comp in this template, there is a pre-comp rectangle. So double click to open that up. And what we're going to do here is rotate this. So we're going to hit R and you can see that there's an expression under rotate. We wanna get rid of this expression. So hit Alt Option and click on that stopwatch to get rid of it. So now it's just a regular rectangle. And what I'm going to do is drag in my full color logo and I'm going to drag it in here and then drop it on top of this rectangle and then hit S for scale to resize it in place. And then I'll just move it up a bit. So now when we go back to control all here, it looks like our logo is being painted on like so, which looks a lot better, I think, than having your logo inside of another rectangle. So we may need to just make this a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to scale that down a bit and then bring it up like so and turn off the rectangle beneath it. So then the next step is to make the liquid in the same color scheme as our logo. So to do that, what we're going to do is select Control Splash, this adjustment layer, and go up to Effects. And here I'm going to choose colors in a spectrum of purple. So up here, I'll change this to like a light purple color, like so. And I'll change this to be another shade of that to make it a little bit darker and let's make this a kind of brighter color let's do a couple darker shades as well and let's make this one the actual color of the logo just by selecting it. And then you'll notice that half of the logo is brighter than the other. Just go to control shape layer and you're going to turn off the brightness. So that way it's just one solid color, okay? And what you wanna do is change this tagline not to be in Vato Market. So to do that, go back to the project panel and I'm going to open up your text here and I'm just going to change this to Premiere Gal. And of course you can change from character here. You can change the font to the font of your choice. I'm gonna do future a PT bold and I'll make the gray just a little bit darker. And let's go ahead and move this up. If you actually select hide all layers from the shy, you can actually see where the text is here. It's actually locked, unlock that. If you select P, you can change the position here. So I'm going to change this to be a little bit higher up. So now we have our final painted logo look. And all we had to do was play around with a few settings to create this quick liquid logo reveal, which I think turned out pretty awesome. And the last template here is a modern opener. So it's more of a opener than a logo reveal because it's a bit longer. It's about 25 seconds long in duration. And so you can edit the text, you can edit the images, you can edit the logo as well. And right now it's just playing back at a quarter resolution. And it takes a while because it's rendering as it's playing back. 
But before we render it out, let's just go ahead and replace all of the media here. If you go to this folder, which is in the product panel, the template comes with an edit folder, final and others. So under edit, you can just simply replace all these image placeholders. So if you open it up, you can replace this with an image or a video. So what I did was I went to Envato Elements, which has a bunch of stock video and photos that you can download as part of your plan, unlimited. And I downloaded 15 placeholders because in the edit here, there's 15 placeholders. So what I'm going to do is drop that in here. So I'm gonna create a new bin and call it media. And I'm just going to drag in my images. And in your case, you can add images of you if it's your channel or of, you know, stock video related to the topic of your channel. So I did a bunch of video stock videos as well as photo related to video production. So I'm just going to drop that in here like so. And then what I'm going to do is just replace each one of these. So I'm just gonna drag this video in here and I'm gonna open up image two, image three, image four, so that way it's quicker. I'm just gonna open up all of them. Then I'm just gonna go through and replace all of them here just by dropping this in here like so. This is a drone shot. So I'm gonna scale this down just by hitting S on my keyboard and then adjusting this. And then I'm just gonna go through really quickly and replace all of them here. And you're going to do the same thing with the text. You can customize the text to be any text that you want. So I'm just going to go in and replace this text to be something else. I'm gonna change this to learn. And for text number two here, I'll change this to professional and you can change the size as well. And so you just go through and update all of these texts. And then of course you want to update the logo at the end to not be in Vato. So I'm just going to delete that. And I'm going to drop in my own gal logo here into the project panel and resize it, hit S on the keyboard. And as we play it back, you can see that I added in all my own images as well as my own text and the logo at the end, which is super awesome. So you can use this as your YouTube channel opener in every video if you like. And of course you can accompany it with music. From Audio Jungle, you can download this music track called Sport Dubstep and Aggressive Electro, which I'll link to below. So that's all there is to it. If you guys have any questions about how to edit these templates, be sure to leave a comment below. Also, if this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you're notified when I make new videos every week. And lastly, be sure to enter my monthly giveaway, premiergal.com giveaways. And if you want priority support to your tech questions and to get free templates every month, you can become a patron at patreon.com premiergal. All right, you guys, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Vanilla ice, ice, baby. Reveals that I'm, that I'm, that one thing of a bob? I've got 20, but who cares? I want more. I wanna be where the